Good morning, everyone. All right, so you will need one block today. If you haven't already grabbed that, just grab your block and let's take a seat. I prefer to sit on a block just to take some of the tension off of my feet. And it really depends on how you want to sit. If the knees or legs are cross, it might feel better to be elevated so that the knees will be below the hip line. So when we take a seat, there's a lot of tension in the hip flexors, and that will often translate into a, a sway low back. So we have that big arch there. You can sit like this or kneeling. This does allow you to have a tall spine in kneeling like that. And it takes the pressure off those sensitive little bones in your feet. All right. And close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Sigh, let it go. And a big breath in. And out. One more, inhale. Land, exhale. And just notice how this feels to arrive in your seat. We haven't started our pranayam yet, but you can really feel the shift of energy from resting taking in the potential of this practice. In the morning kind of resembles, a, it's the start of a new day, so we have a clear slate. And we step into our mat with a beginner's mind. And start to deepen your breath in a way that you can hear it swirling through the back of your throat. Almost like you're fogging a mirror in front of your face or a window, but behind closed lips. And the sense of audibility takes you right into your body. So you can hear it as it passes the ears. You feel it in your throat as well. Now let's draw the breath out a little bit longer. Taking a slow inhale of three or four, and then double your exhale. Exhale for four, maybe five. Now, if you're a visual person, imagine as you inhale that your lungs are brightening like a light bulb. And we're retaining some of it as we slowly exhale and dim the light bulb. Good. All right. Maintain the steadiness of your breathing and start to blink your eyes open. Make your way forward into tabletop position. Move the block out of the way. And take whatever movement feels good in your body, whether that's tabletop and cat-cow or dropping the hips from side to side. Take movement, take space. Just notice how this feels. It just feels good to explore and play. 
there's this youthfulness that we bring to our practice on a daily basis. This is why I love this group. We, we have such playfulness. Um, and that really brings the youthfulness into our lives. If we're so serious all the time, man, that would just suck, right? Being so serious. You can almost see yourself aging in the seriousness of your practice. <laughs> okay. All right. Downward dog. Pedal out your feet. Again, exploring. It's interesting to feel how your practice can ebb and shift and ebb and flow. Maybe years you go in a strong vinyasa style of practice and then we shift. We learn. We we want to play in a deeper or in different uh, aspects. All right. Now look to your hands. Let's take let's take eight to ten steps towards the hands. Bring your feet to the outside of your hands, nice and slow, maybe on your tiptoes. Those last few steps are always the, the most challenging as you fold up really tight. You might even need to go right on your fingertips or bring them onto your block as you come forward. And step your feet to the outside of your hands. Turn the toes out just a little and hang forward, ragdoll. Traditionally, we do ragdoll in a more narrow stance, but make space. Take space. If you have, if you have boobs, if you have ribs, if you have a tummy, which, hello, we all do, <laughs> give yourself space to move. Grab the elbows. Hang forward. Sway. And just pretend your head is like a grape on a vine. Let the neck relax completely. Two more breaths. You can feel the blood coming up towards your head. You can feel the decompression of your spine. Hmm. Now release your hands to your mat, bend your knees, drop your hips down low, come into Malasana. Really low hip squat. Uh, now, if you're on your toes, this might actually feel more comfortable to sit on your block and let your hips relax. So yogi's choice, bring your hands together in front of your chest, lift your heart, breathe. Good. There's equal resistance in the elbows as there are in the knees. And as you lift the chest, activate your upper back muscles, almost like you're in a baby cobra. Pull your chest forward. Slightly more active, low squat. Now this next movement is gonna be very small. So I hope you guys can see this. That's why I wear these bright colors today, aside from welcoming spring i wore these colors on purpose all right so with your left elbow press the elbow into the knee and then hug the knee right back so there's going to be like almost like a little bounce so we'll do 10 on each leg 10 9 now equal effort so as you press out with the elbow press back with the knee as you come in i lost count there let's go five more times four three two one good Come on to the other side. Use your glute strength too. Here we go. 10, push back. 9, push back. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold. Lift your chest. Open up across the heart. Now we even look up to the ceiling or beyond the horizon. Fingertips to the earth, lift your hips, let the knees relax. You can turn the toes forward. Just hang out here for a moment. All right, let's do that again. So turn the toes out, drop your hips down, come into your low squat. 
hands together in front of your chest. Open up your spine, open up your entire front body as to the best of your ability. Take a breath in, let's go to the left. Here we go, push, 10. You guys could count this out, but I really want you to feel how the hips are activating and how they can relax. There's that push-pull sensation. Good. All right, switch sides. That's about 10. I, I didn't quite count that out properly there. Okay, all right, so go ahead. Feel that sensation. You, we've done this pose quite a few times together, but maybe not in this nature. So just really feel that sensation, how the glute is activating to support. Good. And then you might even feel this a lot in your groin, a lot more. Hmm. Good. Fingertips to the mat. Lift your hips. Forward fold. Turn the toes forward. Now bend your knees. Slowly roll yourself up one vertebra at a time. Rolling up, head's the last to come up. Roll the shoulders up and back, tuck them behind you. Breathe deep. Find the strength in your legs. Press down through the corners of your feet, rise up tall through the crown of your head. Hands come together in front of your chest. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Take space, so as you reach up, feel the shoulder blades, feel the ribs expand. Bend the knees as you fold forward, come all the way down. Hands to the shins, inhale, connect with ujjayi breathing, that ocean sound breath. Exhale to fold. So it's interesting about this heat, bend the knees, inhale, rise up. The breath brings internal heat in the body as well. So not only is it there to connect you, hands in front of your chest, audibly, physically, but we are creating internal heat as well. Inhale, reach. Exhale to fold. It may be hard to hear in the Zoom class, but just imagine that you're fogging your breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fingertips to the mat. Take a step back with your right foot and then your left foot. Good. Rock forward and back on your toes. Yeah. Rocking forward and back. Pull navel to spine. And then we'll circle right over the wrists, going all the way, circling over the wrists, just like we would do in tabletop. Feel free to drop the knees down too while you're here. Go the other way. Change the direction. And now drop your knees to the mat. Stretch your right leg out behind you. Come onto the inner edge of your right foot. Reach up with the right hand. Supported side plank. Get nice and long through the body. Reach up higher through the top hand. Step into the outer edge of your right foot. Good. All right, take an inhale. Exhale, come onto your left fingertips. So pop up onto the left fingertips. You might need to adjust. Good. Take a breath in. Exhale, pull yourself to hover onto the fingertips or off the fingertips. Good, press down into the outer edge of your right foot. You can take that left leg into whatever position allows you balance. Inhale, come all the way up. Right hand to shin, left hand up to the ceiling. Breathe into your sides. So we're getting into the side body. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely feel it in the outer left hip area. All right, come back down. Left hand slowly floats. Feel that connection to the side body, the obliques. Left fingertips down. Take a moment in a full plank position. Roll onto the toes, lift the knees. Press the floor away, rock forward and back on the toes. Good, right knee down. 
Roll onto the inner edge of your left foot. Then peel your chest open. Reposition your right shin so that you could be balanced here. And reach up through the hands. Find that stability. Come onto your right fingertips now. Good. Breathe, lift and lengthen. Press down into the outer edge of your left foot. And one more inhale. And as we exhale, slowly float your fingertips. Lower belly draws in. Good. Good. Pause here, breathe. Welcome strength, invite challenge. Welcome it with grace. Good. And then slowly pull yourself up. Left hand down, right hand extends up to the sky. Huge breath in. Exhale into your side stretch. Okay, turn your right baby finger towards the floor. Let the shoulder blade wrap around the ribs. Okay, take your time, come all the way back into a full plank, full plank. Come all the way through. No sense in rushing in the slow flow today. Good, full plank position, breathe in. Exhale to lift your hips, downward dog. Long, steady breath in. Long, steady breath out. Take your right heel up. Step your foot between the hands. And All right, take a wider stance. So we're gonna come into crescent lunge. Inhale, rise up. Here's where we're gonna start to play with our balance. Come onto the outer edge of your right foot. Outer edge of your right foot. You feel that there? <laughs> okay, outer edge of the right foot. Find stability, you might even need to take your feet a little bit wider. Find the balance. Breathe. Good. So come onto the outer edge of your right foot. Standing nice and tall. Now we're gonna slowly turn to our left. So come all the way over. Hey. And take a side lunge into the left shin or the left leg. Reach your arms forward though. I almost went down for the thigh, but reach forward. And we'll pulse here for three, two, one. Hold. Keep pressing into the outer edge of your right foot. Find the strength in the inner thigh and the inner leg. Transfer the weight onto the left side. Take a big breath in. Reach forward with the hands. Counterbalance. Exhale, lift the right leg up. Keep breathing. Reaching forward. Turning on the hips, the glutes. Breathe. Doesn't may not look as graceful like a yoga journal pose, but hey, you know what? We're doing it, right? Feels freaking good. Bend your left knee, come back into that side lunge shape. Turn, come towards the right side of the mat, left hand down, right hand up to the ceiling. I hope you guys all remembered that because the second side is silent. Just kidding. <laughs> Keep lifting your hips. You might even still be on the outer edge of your right foot. Lift the hips high. Good. Take a breath in. Exhale, center. Let's bring the right hand down. Come into that crescent lunge again. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale, rise up. Sink down, exhale. Come onto the outer edge of your right foot. Find the balance. Balance. You might need to take the foot out a little wider. You could even bring your hands wider. All right, rotate to your left. Side lunge into the left foot. Reach your hands forward. Three little pulses here. Three, two, one. Find the connection inner left leg, sorry, inner left, inner right leg, outer right hip. Here we go, take a breath in, reach, counter the balance, shift. Float up without hopping or bouncing. Right leg up. 
Eyes are steady. Counter the balance. A fake smile helps once in a while. <laughs> Keep breathing, everyone. Ooh. Step down with the right foot. Right toes turn, left hand down. Reach your right arm up. Big inhale. Exhale, twist a little bit more. And hands come down. Step back, come into downward dog. Now, I'm going to turn this way so that the sun doesn't shine brighter into the camera. <laughs> okay, left side, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step forward, set up crescent lunge. Find the foundation first. Take your feet a little wider if you need to. Rise up. Stabilize. Take the foot out wider. If you need to take more stability, feet step wider. Come onto the outer edge of your left foot. Arms could come up. Find your balance. Breathe. If you need to use the wall, go for it. Power through the back leg. Find the balance and stability. Core of the body pulling in. Turn to your right. Come all the way through side lunge, right knee. Reach your hands forward. Legs are active, legs are strong. Pulse, one, two, Three, get strong into the left outer hip. Reach forward, lean into the right leg. Float the leg up. Ooh, there was a little bounce there. Try not to bounce or hop. And eventually maybe bringing the leg to straight, but you know what, you're still a good person if you don't straighten the leg. <sighs> Keep breathing, reach. <sighs> Where is your breath at? If you need to do a reset breath with the full inhale, exhale out the mouth, go for it. Good, step down, take your time. Side lunge, left knee, turn the toes to the front of your space, right hand down, left hand up. A little stretch for that outer hip after floating your leg up. Roll open through your chest. Play with coming onto the fingertips. Good. Hand comes down. Let's come all the way back up. Crescent lunge. Reach up. Come onto the outer edge of your left foot. Find balance. Maybe take the arms out. Stabilize. Contain the belly, take a breath in, exhale, turn to the right, side lunge into your right knee, breathe, little pulse here, three, two, one, transfer the weight, take your time to lift your leg up, turn on the glute, lift, lift, lift. This will feel harder, this will be more challenging if you have longer legs. If you have short little legs like me, it might be easier. <laughs> Good, count to your balance. Good. Keep reaching. Wherever you need to bring the arms, go for it. Now bend the right knee, step down quietly. Right hand down. Left hand up, come onto the ball of your right foot, reach up. Nice deep breath in. You can spin onto the outer edge of your right foot too. It's a different sensation. Good, hands to the earth. Let's take a full step back, down dog. Look to your hands, step, step forward. Halfway lift to stretch your chest. Bow, exhale. 
Inhale, slowly rise up. <sighs> Pause. Okay, grab your block. So take your block. Uh, let's come into the top third of your mat. Actually, you know what? Let's go halfway down the mat, halfway. Step onto the block with your right foot. Hands onto your hips. Feel free to use the wall if you're close to a wall. Now, this is decompressing the right hip joint. Sorry, the left hip joint. So as you feel the weight of your leg drop just a little bit below the block, let that decompression happen. Keep the hands on your hips as a guide. Feel the heaviness of the leg. Good, now flex your foot if it's not already flexed. Take a breath in. Exhale to so cinch in through the waistline. Now pull your left knee up. Up so that the knee is in line with the hip. Lift tall through the chest. Keep your eyes steady on one spot. Breathe. Grow taller. Now on the exhale, let the foot drop down a little bit just below the block line. And then come all the way back. Turn on your left glute. Bring your right hand to the front of the belly and contain the belly from dropping. Yeah. Breathe. So use your hands to adjust you to, I wish that I could be there to help give you a little manual adjustments, but we need to do this ourselves here. So pull the belly in, lengthen through the left hip, flex your foot, lift the heel higher. Good, now bend your right knee, take the knee all the way through again. So left leg is gonna come through with a little bit of a squat there. Knee comes up, hands come back onto the hips. Take a breath in, stand tall. Exhale, press your heel forward. Lift your chest. Strong legs. Try your best not to lock out the right knee. Instead, activate your quad. Good. Bend your knee. Swing the leg behind you again. Hands will start to transfer into the belly and left hip. Pull forward. Reach back. There's that counterbalance again. So in this transition, find your single leg squat while we move forward. Hands come back onto the hips. Bend your right knee. Woo! Come all the way through. <laughs> Stretch your leg out in front of you. Good. Keep floating the leg high, lift tall in the spine, and release. Excellent work. And switch sides. Slide the foot over, slide the block over. Okay, I'll turn this way again so that you can see the leg. All right, so we have the left foot on your block, well supported. Maybe the toes hang off a little, but just find it. If you have bigger feet, too bi bigger than your block, find the balance. All right, so let the right ha heel hang. Hands on the hips, grow tall. Stabilize your breathing. Flex your foot if you haven't already done that. Grow taller in the spine. Take a breath in. Exhale, bring the knee up. Knee is up. Good, let the heel drop just a little bit below the block line. Turn on your right glute. Bring your left hand to the front of the hip and the belly. Lift the leg up. Stabilize, focus. Breathe, breathe. Let the breath charge the strength. Stabilize, wobbly legs with breathing. Good. All right, now bend your left knee. Bring the leg forward. Try not to touch the floor as you come through. Come back up, hands to hips, squeeze in really tight, take a breath in. Exhale, kick your heel forward. Lift up. Cinch in through the waist, chest is floating. Bend the knee, oh sorry, let's come all the way through. Bend the knee, float. Okay, come through, right hand to glute, left hand to the front, lift, 
lifting through. Breathe. Oh, I forgot to do the leg straight. No, I think I did it. All right, keep pressing through. Hands to hips. Bend your left knee. Come into that single leg squat. Come all the way through. Lift up, big inhale. Exhale, kick. Lift up. Pop your chest open. Good. Three, two, and one. Good. Step down. Slide the block out of the way. Pause in your mountain. Hmm. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, slowly fold forward. Passive squat, hands to the mat, take the feet a little wider, turn the toes out, drop your hips down. Ah. Lift your chest. Now we've been playing a lot with counterbalance, so let's try that here. Try not to drop your butt really hard on the floor. <laughs> Reach your arms forward, reach, reach, reach. Find the counterbalance. Then let the sit bones come down without thumping. Oh, didn't quite make it today. <laughs> okay. Cross the ankles and come into a seat. Hand can come behind you. Little twist, your favorite twist in seated position. And switch sides. Awesome. So feel free to come into Shavasana or take a seated meditation, however you wish to bookend your practice or close your practice. Entirely up to you. I would encourage a long Shavasana or a long meditation if you have the time this morning to do it, take it. Get into your, your position, how you'd like to find rest. And whatever points of contact your body is making with your yoga mat, just relax, just find a sense of ease with that connection. Know that you have already put some high currency of positive coins in your bank account today. So when we start our day off like this, we're making these deposits into our bank account. And then slowly throughout the day, we kind of withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. And hopefully we never come into a deficit or overdraft. But we keep coming back to the mat every day. So we put the right amount of deposits back in. Thank you for showing up for yourself, making time in your very busy lives to be here, supporting one another, of course. Have a wonderful day, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow morning for power-ish flow. Tomorrow's class will be a ladder. All right. Have a good day. Take care. Have fun listening to Madonna. Thank you. <laughs>